Hello and blessed be. I'm Nick Gibson. I'm the Pagan Federation Regional Coordinator for Devon. And I'm here to wish you a very happy Samhain and welcome to the hovel. I am going to tell the story of Samhain, aka Halloween, through this absolutely beautiful and apt oracle deck, Season of the Witch, the Samhain deck. The oracle comes with a deck of 44 beautifully illustrated glossy cards, each with its own descriptive poem on, finished with this luxurious embossed edge and is a traditional size, not too big a deck. The book it comes with is excellent. It explains the deck brilliantly. It has unique layouts and spreads to use. And explains each card's aspect in full, as well as the meaning behind pulling each card both the right way up and the reverse. If you are considering purchasing this deck yourself, know that it comes in two ways, as a lot of decks do nowadays. This luxury deck you see here with book, as well as a traditional playing card size deck, which is lovely to hold and use, especially if you have small hands or don't like the bigger decks, but it does not come with the book. Most tarot and oracle decks like this come like this now, so be sure to look for the book when purchasing if that's what you want. Some small decks have a scanning code on the back for an online version of the booklet or book the luxury decks come with, so keep an eye out for that. I will leave purchasing information for this deck in the comments section of the Pagan Federation Facebook post that linked you to this video today after this. I will use as many cards as possible here for you today to illustrate the beauty of not only the Oracle deck, but also the beauty in the story of Samhain. So on with the show. Samhain, Halloween, Feast of Apples, November's Eve, Hallowmas, Shadowfest, and All Hallows Eve. Different names for different cultures, all with the same intention to honour, a day to honour those who have passed. The veil is the very heart of Samhain. On this night, the veil between this world and the next is at its thinnest. The spirit realm is as close as it's ever going to be here on earth. Spirits are given a chance to pass over 
to find their resting place and loved ones who previously passed the veil can come back and visit. Communications with spirits and guides are more natural now than at any other night of the year. It is also a beautiful time to deepen a psychic practice or to start a new one. And working magic on this night is likely to lead to success, even if you've never worked a spell before. By pulling the All Hallows Eve card, you are being called to summon your inner magic. The spirit realm is smiling on you and is waiting to be made use of. Okay. Create a Samhain ancestral altar. An altar is a sacred space created to honour something in your practice. A space dedicated to worship and devotion of your craft, in this case, your ancestors. It should hold things that are sacred to your energy work and should be placed in your home where spirits of the wise gather and share their knowledge with you. Being a Samhain altar, you may try working with more profound, darker energies, such as the corona energy of the dark moon. Or the dark energy goddess, such as Hecate or the Morrigan. If you have pulled this, if you have pulled altar, it is because your guides are thrilled to see you making an effort. There now needs to be an intention, a worship and space so that you can harness your energy without disruption. Come back to your true self. Know that you have a deep power within that needs a place to land and your guides need a place to speak to you. Your ancestors are always with you, protecting you. They watch over you and keep you safe from harm's way. They are telling you that it is safe to go forward. So listen and fill them with you. They also protect you from things you cannot see. Threats that never make it to you because your ancestors have protected you without you having to ask. They want what is best for you and they love you unconditionally. Know that there are thousands of your ancestors who have walked before you sharing their love, wisdom and protection. Be sure to thank them because you won't be here. You, you wouldn't be here if they hadn't walked their hardships before you. Many have lived and died, laughed and suffered and sacrificed so you can be here. Honour your ancestors by trusting them to watch over you. Call on them when you feel alone or afraid and give your fears to them allowing them to hold you as you walk your path through life. Ancestors card. Everything that has brought you here has been for a purpose. There is some lesson, blessing or miracle in every situation you ever faced. Good or bad, trust in those who watch over you. Sawain, the third harvest serves as a practical holiday that told our ancestors to prepare for the coming of winter. The third harvest was the time to gather up the remaining crops, to prepare and store them and have enough food to last the hard conditions of winters. The last of the wheat would be ground into flour and the remains of fruit and vegetables would be picked in cans and meat salted. Though winter may be harsh and gathering up food is hard work, there is a feeling of abundance and pride in getting prepared. Imagine ha looking at your food stores and seeing a physical representation of your work. We are lucky that we no longer have to face these conditions in the modern world. 
the third harvest card, you are being guided to gather up your accomplishments to celebrate your wins. Take a look at everything you have done and achieved. Make a store of these wins to come back to whenever you are feeling low or like you have failed. The easiest way to attract more abundance is to feel abundant. Have a stockpile of feel good moments will kickstart you and can help turn around feelings of lack or stagnation. Pumpkins have been a sewing tradition for hundreds of years. Jack-o'-lanterns were carved to scare away ghosts and goblins that were said to roam the streets of Sawain. Carving jack-o'-lanterns originally began with a variety of root vegetables from turnips to potatoes. Pumpkins became the preferred method for the abundance of space for carving and there is always plenty left over to fashion into dinner, dessert and even drinks. The pumpkin is more than a sacred tool. By invoking candle magic to light the way, it is a symbol of protection. There is a presence around you keeping the scary things away from your front door. The pumpkin also have the element of fertility and abundance, for the pumpkin represents the power of the womb. It is no surprise that the colour corresponds to that of the sacral chakra. Its size is a symbol of prosperity and having enough to go around. Pulling this pumpkin card can mean taking some steps to keep negative people out of your life. You may need to reduce the amount of time you spend in some relationships or set some firm boundaries. Doing this will allow you to put your energy where it is needed most. Sawain isn't just about dark energy, loved ones who have passed and things that go bump in the night. There is a fun, playful aspect to Sawain as well, a bit of naughtiness and a touch of cunning. There is an element of mischief on the night of Sawain. Trick or treating isn't just about candy. The trick comes from the ancient Sawain tradition when villagers would disguise themselves in animal skins. scare away demons, ghouls and goblins that were free to roam the earth for one night each year, often playing cruel tricks on humans. Not all tricks are fun however, at least not to all involved. Tricks and mischief can be mean-spirited and cruel at times. One must keep a lookout for those who find fun at the expense of others. Pulling mischief can mean a need to adapt a smarter approach to your situation. You may need to get creative to get what you want. Be open-minded about how to overcome your challenges. And if possible, approach your situation with a bit of fun. Problems are serious, but that doesn't mean a bit of silliness can't help you to see it in a new way. Many see a graveyard as a symbol of mortality. It collects the tears of mourners whose loved ones have been laid to rest. Its stillness is an ominous song that creeps up the spine, leaving us to ponder whose death will come next. But a graveyard is a place of serenity where souls can find peace and stillness beyond the harsh realities of living. There is no longer the need to struggle against what is. It is a place of surrender. There are lots who fear the graveyard because it has long been the home of wandering spirits. Those who have not transitioned to eternity. The graveyard card will help you find peace with where you are. There are times when we will be faced with difficult situations that are beyond our control. Those are the times that we must surrender to our current place and transcend. So on the night of Sawain, we take our messages of love and place them all in Mother Earth's room, represented on the altar as the cauldron. 
and when I am uh, when our altars are lit, our offerings done, and bonfires burnt, and the hour approaches that of witching, we light the cauldron of life, death, and rebirth, and send our messages across the veil to the spirit realm. To our loved ones, friends, families, and ancestors of old. And in return, if we listen hard with our hearts, we hear. You are always protected, my dearest witch. No matter how scary the world may seem, or how many, <clears throat> how many things go bump in the dark night of the soul, you, within you is a space that cannot be harmed, penetrated, or shaken. Here you can retreat to heal and find comfort. You need only step through the veil into the arms of those who love and care for you. Know that all is well and you are safe, protected from harm. Know that you can handle anything and when you are feeling unsafe, speak, ask and we will guide you where you do not have eyes and keep you safe when you are in harm's way. We are always walking with you. Blessed be. This is our open Willow 13 Sawain Ancestral Altar. Every year we place photos, objects and anything relevant. The cauldron is a portal that crosses the veil. We write messages to our loved ones who have passed and place them in it. And we put a candle for each person upon the altar. On the night of Samhain, each candle is lit at the witching hour. We pass the messages through the veil with a very dramatic whoosh. You are remembered, loved, and never forgotten. Blessed be. Like the Oracle deck information, I will also leave the info for joining in with this, our Sawain altar, on our same Facebook post in the comments section. So you can add any messages of love to the cauldron and photos of acknowledgement to place on the altar along with a candle for each family member, friend, pet, person, ancestor or stranger remembered. All of which will be lit at midnight on Samhain so our messages of love and remembrance can pass through the veils for our loved ones as we do every year for our pagan community. You are loved, lost but never forgotten. Blessed be. One. Darksome night and shining moon, the witch prepares to take her broom. Off into the dead of night, the witch's soul it doth take flight. We light the candles and stoke the fire, an ending year and new desire. Our altar in adorned on our ancestral grave, with candles and photos and memories saved. Jack lanterns are lit to show them the way. The veil is the thinnest on this most pagan of days. We call the quarters, invoke the magic. Our ancestors come not to wreak havoc, but to be steadfast beside us they stand. They join the circle hand in hand. We feast and we dance on our most hallowed of eaves. Outside in the moonlight, our bare feet in the leaves. And drink of our sisters from the chalice of power that Athame lowered at the witching hour. We write messages to loved ones that burst into flames, that pass through the cauldron in the goddess's name. We rejoice and sorrow with bittersweet pain and know in the morning the year starts again. I know with deep knowledge this heritage of mine from my ancestors' struggle, even from the unknown of lines. Their suffering and torment, their happiness and joy is what gives me the right for tonight to enjoy. 
So on the night of Samhain, never forget our loved ones, our ancestors and the glorious dead. And remember this night for a year and a day, you can call on your ancestors in any old way. They are yours, they are mine, and always they're there. Just call on their name for protection and care. When we are ready and tipsy from mead, our ritual is done and our ancestors freed. And tomorrow when day breaks and my head hurts a bit, I will look at my life and take new stock of it. I remember last night full of wonder and power and how our hearts danced as the cone rose with power. Now how lucky am I to live as a witch? Oh, if everybody's lives could be so magically rich. Blessed be. When? I truly wish the most magical of Samhain blessings to you all. Thank you so much and a very blessed be to you for watching this and celebrating not just Samhain but all eight of the Will Sabbaths on this 50th year anniversary of the Pagan Federation. May there be many more to come. May you never thirst. Blessed be.